what's up guys and welcome to part 24 of tutorial series on aws audio analysis in the previous tutorial we have updated the amazon athena query and also we have saved it and probably i believe this could be the last tutorial for aws audio analysis series but though i'm not sure uh, but we will see so in this tutorial we are going to create the separate sentiment analysis visualization for agent and customer respectively so when i say separate it means that there will be a single dashboard or single visualization but within that visualization we will be having the measure or sentiment analysis of agent and customer respectively so if we look at the architecture diagram, then we are at the last step that is on Amazon quick side that is visualization. So let's go ahead and get started. So jump to the AWS management console and search for quick site. and here we go so we have few tabs that is all analysis all dashboard favorites tutorials so i had covered the overview of amazon quick site uh, in one of the earlier tutorial within this tutorial series so you can find the link of that tutorial within the description right so i'm going to close this so we are directly going to create a new analysis. So click on new analysis. So then click on new data set. And from here you need to select the data source. So in our case, the data source is Athena. So we are going to select Athena over here. So now it's asking for data source name. So I will say AWS Athena or maybe AWS Audio Athena and I will say create data source now from here uh, we are not going to uh, use an UI and directly select the database and set of tables from here but instead we are going to use custom SQL so I'm going to click on use custom SQL and so rather than uh, mentioning or writing a query over here, I'm going to click on edit or preview data. And here we are, right? So here uh, we are going to write our custom SQL that is our SQL query. Now, if you remember, then we have saved the query in the previous tutorial, right? So console login so here we are I'm going to search for Athena and click on saved queries And we are going to search for that query that is AWS audio analysis, right? So here we are. So click on this or maybe double click on this. And here is our query. So I'm going to simply copy this query and we will jump back to uh, our quick site, right? So here it's asking for custom SQL name. I will say AWS audio SQL probably and I'm going to paste the query over here right and I will say finish now it's loading the data right I mean it's executing the query and data will be loaded in the uh, lower panel so that is over here so it's still loading 
and here we go so we have the data for agent and customer respectively with their sentiment analysis score and sentiment right so once we are good to go over here click on 7 visualize and it will redirect to this dashboard right so we are going to select a user from here and probably the sentiment so now it's generating a graph for us so as you can see what does it says the agent is neutral and the customer is negative and probably we can also click on some positive neutral negative or mixed scores and let's check uh, what it's showing so we have neutral and negative uh, in the y-axis and probably scores in the x-axis now if we click on or hover a, a mouse on the graph then it says agent and its score and its sentiment analysis that is neutral and then it's negative for another one that is customer right so you can play around with this graph so we can also put on legend over here click on arrow and say format visual click on legend probably bottom right you can select wherever you want and you can play around with this option so ideally uh, one of the tutorial that i have did earlier uh, I would explore this option at the high level so you can have a look and you can also play around with this option right so I'm going to close this and here is the visual types that you can uh, play with and you can have a look right and then uh, once you are done with this modification or editing right so what you can do is you can click on share and you can say publish to dashboard right so let's check let's click on publish dashboard so it's asking for publish a new dashboard as or you can also replace an existing dashboard right so i will say aws audio analysis right and then probably i will say publish dashboard So now it's asking for share dashboard with the user so you can mention the email over here with whom you want to share right so right now i'm going to close this and here we go so this is our dashboard that is being published right so you can also save this dashboard and yeah that's it so uh, one of the thing uh, you need to keep in mind is that so so let me go to home page and click on our this sql analysis and i'm going to, and I'm going to edit this uh, data set probably i will say edit so one of the issue that uh, you might face is so let me wait for uh, loading the screen so it's loaded let's edit sql so if you remember then earlier we were uh, here on this screen right so then i had clicked on finish and it populated the data right so sometimes what happen is uh, the quick site might not able to access the s3 bucket so it might fail to load the data right so uh, so if you go ahead and uh, check the logs probably then it it will be saying that access denied right so you always need to make sure that you have given the read permission for the given bucket so right now uh, why we didn't require to give permission for the s3 bucket because i had already given the permission from quicksight to read that bucket so that's the reason uh, the data populated without any error but in case the bucket is changing then what you need to do is you need to click on the top right corner and click on manage quick site and within this you need to click on security and management right and once you are here so you can see quick site access to aws services so click on add or remove
right so once you are here uh, so here is an amazon s3 bucket so click on details right and select s3 bucket so in case uh, the s3 bucket that you are trying to access or the s3 bucket in which your json file resides is not checked over here then you need to explicitly check that bucket and click on select buckets right so that's how you can give the permission for an s3 bucket so make sure uh, you have given the correct and right permission to access the data so well uh, that's all for now so here is our architecture diagram and we are done with this so i am planning to do a cloud formation tutorial series by keeping this use case in mind but I want to hear from you. So let me know in comments that which series or which tutorials or use case should I start next. Until that time, as usual, if you want me to do a tutorial on any use case or service, then please leave them below and I will try my best to come up with the tutorial as soon as possible. And if you have any queries or comments, then again, please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time.